What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another Pokemon Legends Arceus request walkthrough. This is request number two. We are going to be helping out Marley. This is one of the first requests in the game and they give it to you immediately. As soon as they introduce the concept of requests, you get number one and number two. So these ones are pretty easy to find. And if you're looking for it, it's right at the entrance to Jubilee Village. So we're looking for the completed Pokedex entry for Starly. Starly is a very common Pokemon in the early game and you should see them all over the Obsidian Fieldlands. We're gonna head out there now and I'll show you a couple of different locations where you can find Starly. They are right outside the Fieldlands camp. I don't recommend to wander too far in search of them. You'll find Starly at Aspiration Hill, Horseshoe Plains, which is the location we're going to, Windswept Ruin, and Tidewater Dam. And you can even find them in Cobalt Coastlands as well if you're a little bit further along in the game trying to complete this later on. You can get them at the Ginkgo Landing and Deadwood Haunt in Cobalt Coastlands as well. So once you find wherever you want to hunt your Starly, I do recommend to do Horseshoe Plains because it's the easiest location to access and you'll find a lot of Starly on the way there. Just make sure that you sneak up on them, all right? The number that you've caught without being spotted is going to be part of your Pokedex and I do recommend to sneak up on all of them so you can get your Pokedex completed faster and just complete this a little bit faster. I don't recommend to fight Starly like you see me doing here. Most of the time they will run away from you. I got lucky on this one and it actually did not run away from me, but I noticed that anytime Starly spotted me and anytime that I battled Starly, they would tend to run away and I would lose that spawn. But it is an easy check mark on your Pokedex. You only have to defeat one of them in battle to get that check mark for your Pokedex. So I do recommend to try to at least defeat one of them, but I wouldn't go much further than that. Now, once you get done, you're gonna go ahead and talk to Professor, of course, and you're going to report your Pokedex progress. And there you go, we've got research level 10 on Starly. We got probably more check marks than we even needed to get. And we're well on our way to teaching Marley all about Starly. All right, did you notice that little rhyming name coincidence there? Yeah, they put a lot of little details into the story of this game. So many little details, and I think that it's one of the reasons why this is the best Pokemon game that has ever been released and I'm gonna say that many times and I'll stand by it. It's a really good game and I think the way that they've expanded the world of Pokemon through the story here is actually really groundbreaking and I can't wait for more entries in the Pokemon Legends series. Who knows? Pokemon Legends Mewtwo? Pokemon Legends Rayquaza? Of course, so many opportunities for interesting games, but I digress. Here we are with Marley, teaching her all about Starly. We showed her the Pokedex entry, and now we're even going to show her a specimen of Starly. So it's kind of like a two-part request here. And then once you show her the Starly, she's so impressed with all of the different variations between the male and the female. It's got that little difference on their forehead, apparently. I actually didn't know that. How many people knew that down in the comments? Let me know if you did know that. I had no idea. So of course you do get 10 Pokeballs at the end of this request. A pretty decent reward if I do say so. And that's gonna be it, you guys. You got your full walkthrough for request number two. If you were really stuck on this one, which I can't imagine anybody was, there you go. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you to my amazing subscribers and peace.